Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Aaron Painting. Today I'm painting up some night runners. Um, as I explained in last week's video, I'm doing this partially because I need Skaven for my dungeon crawling RPG, and partially because uh, Tempo, my good friend, is starting a Skaven army, and I thought I'd uh, make some tutorials for her to make uh, the painting easy and fast. So this is an uh, ultra speed painting paint scheme, uh, and just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm painting this single uh, miniature, but I have the rest of them mounted on a long stick, uh, so I can paint them up in quick assembly. But without further ado, let's start with some Gilliman flesh, and this is for the non-furry fleshy parts. Uh, on this one it's just the hands and the snout. Next up, some Gorgrunt fur, and this is, well, yeah, for the fur. You could replace this with uh, what's it called Basilicanum Grey, if you wanted the Skavens to be, uh, yeah, grey. Uh, that looks pretty good too. And I just realized I forgot to paint his ears, so I'll go back to Gilman Flesh and do that now. Next up, some Wadupus pink, and this is for the tail. You could just use Gilman Flesh for this, it looks uh, more like the artwork on the website, if you do. But I like to get some, uh, some color on them, so I go for uh, these pink tails. Next up, some black Templar. And this is for all the clothing, all the armor, and all the things I want to be metallic later on. Next up, some snake bite leather, and this is for his belt pouch and any leather straps. I've done a little cleanup with the red bone base, uh, which is also the color the model was primed with, the red color spray, a uh, red bone spray. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that in the beginning, again. And next up, I'm gonna take some Skeleton Horde for the teeth. And then some Blood Angels Red for the eyes. Before I go on to painting the metallics, I'll take some uh, Vallejo Earth Texture, Dark Earth. And uh, this is, of course, for the base.
Next up, some boot gun metal. Uh, or lead belcher from Citadel, if that's what you have. And this is of course for the metallic bits. And this one it's just the, the claws, the tail weapon, and the little Skaven symbol on his belt. Uh, and the ones with the armor, I don't paint the armor metallic. Uh, I like to keep it black to uh, maintain the ninja look. Now that the earth texture has uh, sort of dried, I'll take some null oil and wash the base and all the metallic bits. So now that the wash has dried and the texture has fully settled, I'm gonna dry brush the base with some Terminator stone. Then I'm gonna paint the base rim with some black, uh, any black will do. And then I'm gonna give the model some uh, matte varnish and add some tuft to the base and we'll be done. And there we have them. Ten night runners with various equipment ready for the dungeons and of course if you're painting up uh, a unit for hf sigma you should not give them the spears and shields and probably not the flails either but stick to the ninja weapons um but as i don't need them for hf sigma i uh, chose to uh, to have some fun with the options anyhow um these are really fun and really fast to paint um and uh, while I painted them up, I also uh, did an old whoop, Death Master uh, using uh, Basili what is it called Basilicanum Grey for the fur instead of the brown. So you can see how that turned out. And uh, Orc Flesh for the poison on his uh, blades. And at the same time, I also painted up an old Assassin model. Oh, focus. I don't know what's up with the camera right now. And again, using orc flesh for the poison. Um, so yeah, really fast, really easy way of getting some uh, night runners, gutter runners, assassins, death masters, uh, all those Ishin evilness ready for the tabletop. Hope uh, you guys out there find this video entertaining. Tempo, I hope you found this useful. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.